And that is history, you guys. Pluto is gone. Out of here. Gone never again to return into Capricorn for the rest of our lives. It's actually a huge deal to be able to witness a change of Pluto moving into a different sign because Pluto is a generational planet, which means it is super, super, super slow moving, 15 to 20 years slow moving. So congratulations to you if you were able to witness Pluto moving from Capricorn to Aquarius. Some of you have seen Pluto move from, um, what's that sign? Sagittarius to Capricorn in your adulthood. That is amazing that you're here to witness this evolution. So this is a huge generational shift where society is changing. This is on a global scale. This is impacting the way we as a collective interact with each other, the way we think, the way that we live. It's going to affect everything from ourselves to our kids to the internet to money, especially money. Pluto, before it can enhance and transform your life for the better, it must destroy. So unfortunately we first get the really darker aspects of whatever sign it's in so <clears throat> first we experience a really dark aspect of, well kind of like it, it gives like a sandwich effect so at first it can be like really dark and then it can seem like things are getting better and then it can get really dark again at the end which it kind of did before pluto left capricorn so that might be something we're really experiencing with the darker elements of aquarius which represents groups of people it represents society it represents the internet it represents technology and so there can be some corrupt things that are really done in those elements that get brought up first before we get to the good stuff and progressive change in our groups and really influential groups and the people having more of a stronger say so there might be a, a huge shift in not being able to have all those things right away but eventually there'll be a transformation over the next 20 years where we get to feel that and experience that pluto and aquarius you may not feel it on a personal level unless you have fixed placements aquarius uh leo scorpio or taurus in your major planets which is um including rising signs sun moon rising venus mars at early degrees so anywhere from zero to zero degrees to about eight degrees you'll really feel that energy because pluto is so slow moving um if you have later degrees of these signs you may not feel it now i've observed people that have aquarius placements having major things happen to them when pluto first went into aquarius so you know take it how it resonates it all just depends on you but you may not feel it as strongly if you're not feeling anything different yet um you may not have the degrees as close to the planet but fixed signs you may still feel things all right so you know that's your experience and that's your truth but a very quick rundown for everybody i've done a full video on this before you can look it up on youtube just type in my name mind body bronx or i changed it back to terror bronx terror by bronx and pluto and aquarius you'll find everything that i've done i did three videos i think on pluto and aquarius but a quick rundown for you where this transit will be basically destroying everything first and then you'll have a rebirth moment and you'll get really strong and be able to reap the benefits of pluto okay so um apply this to where you have aquarius in your houses look at your birth chart if you know your rising sign then you have aquarius somewhere in there but first house a complete renewal of your identity your sense of self your physical body transforming transforming your whole identity who you are Aquarius first house second house is your finances your money your self-worth so a lot of things dealing with physical changes in your stability or your money um that's not to scare you but there is a transformation that is going to happen there if you have Aquarius in your second house third house I just left mine Pluto was in my third house of Capricorn which is communication the way you think could be short distance travel relationships to siblings but um, a lot of mental energy and finding your voice fourth house in Aquarius is your family your home life your relationship to your parents your mom especially as well as uh, could be some generational stuff childhood trauma but a lot of family and home living situation transformations over the next 20 years fifth house will be um, your creativity your creative expression how you express yourself as well as your relationship to children you could go from not wanting children to wanting children to wanting children to not wanting children or something that happens with children and fertility is going to be a, a big deal for you guys in the next season 
Sixth house is your career, your health, your work, um, your physical well-being. So you may have a lot of transformations that come up with that. Please take care of your health while you have Pluto in your sixth house and, you know, take your health seriously. Seventh house, your relationships, your one-to-one -one relationships, romantic, especially a lot of your Leo risings, romantic, uh, personal, friend, business, a lot of transformation. This could be a difficult time where you feel like you lose a lot of people, but then eventually you gain a lot more people. Eighth house in uh, Aquarius, I feel like this might be a bit challenging for you, honestly, um, because eighth house can represent things that are represent uh trying to bring out a oh kind of nice way to put it but it's like eighth house is a bit of a kind of scary house sometimes um endings closures transformations death uh some kind so you may experience things along those themes you know that is a natural part of life though but you may experience that um as well as intimacy changes the way that you want to express intimacy being close with people or the type of relationship you have with your your really close knit circle um ninth house aquarius in your ninth house long distance travel studies philosophy beliefs a lot of you will have changes major changes in your belief system especially in your religion over the next 20 years and some of you may start studying different things have different beliefs a lot of changes though in the way that you like what you believe in and what you feel is true for you 10th house Aquarius, major changes and transformations in your career life and your long-term reputation. A lot of you may go through different jobs, like a lot of different jobs or a complete revolution, a revelation of like what you want to do for your career. Um, some endings there and some new beginnings. Pluto in the 11th house, friend group, social media, hopes and wishes. A lot of you will go through several different friendships, a lot of friendships ending, new ones beginning, different groups you want to associate with throughout this transit as well as different insights of what you want for your future like what you hope for or what you wished for before changing and then lastly 12th house i have heard this one challenging too honestly i feel like all the water houses are going to be challenging so all of us water risings scorpio cancer and pisces having it in our fourth eighth and 12th house is going to be a little bit hard um yeah, 12th house is your psychological mind, your fears, your subconscious. And so there's a lot of psychological changes that can happen um, under this with Pluto there, like subconscious fears. There could be some mental health stuff that really shows its head. Um, be careful of substance abuse and um, just things that are causing you to escape reality. But, you know, mental health is really important for you under these circumstances here. Um... But yeah, it also could be a lot of spiritual changes that happen for you where you become really, really spiritually inclined, your spiritual gifts open up. And yeah, a lot of things unseen, a lot of hidden things coming to the surface for you, uh, 12th house Aquarius or Pisces Risings. So that's what we got for you all. Um, that's all I got. That's all we can do. Just be aware and just know. This is just a long one, next 20 years. But we moved on from the Capricorn lessons of wherever Pluto was, moving on to Aquarius. So if you guys have questions, follow me, subscribe to my YouTube, Patreon, and let's rock out. <laughs>